All right guys, Flay from Boxing Evolution and this is the second video in the Fighting Fit series. This video is about stamina and in this video we'll cover the aerobic, anaerobic and ATP energy systems. First of all, a bit about stamina. Stamina can be defined as the capability of sustaining prolonged stressful effort. Stamina and boxing. Stamina is what allows the boxer to keep fighting. If he has bad stamina, he will soon run out of energy. If a boxer has no energy, he will not be able to move. It does not matter how good a boxer someone is if he cannot move. Stamina actually comprises of all three of the different energy systems. First of all, aerobic energy. Aerobic means with oxygen. During aerobic work, the body is working at a level that uses oxygen. The oxygen is used to break down glucose from carbohydrates and fat into ATP which is then used as energy. ATP actually stands for adenosine triphosphate. Aerobic energy is also known as cardiovascular fitness because it uses the cardiovascular system. Aerobic energy and muscles. Aerobic energy makes use of slow twitch muscle fibers known as type one fibers. The slow twitch fibers are more efficient at using oxygen to generate more fuel for continuous extended muscle contractions over a long period of time. They fire more slowly than fast twitch fibers and can go for a long time before they fatigue. With consistent endurance training, muscle fibers can develop more and improve their ability to cope with and adapt to the stress of exercise. In order to train your aerobic energy system, you need to work your heart in the aerobic heart rate zone. The heart rate zone is the percentage of your maximum heart rate that you cause your heart to work at during exercise. The aerobic heart rate zone is 70 to 80% of your maximum heart rate. To calculate your maximum heart rate, uh, take 220 and then minus your age from it. Uh, heart, maximum heart rate is measured in beats per minute. So for example, a 19 year old's maximum heart rate would be 220 minus 19, which equals 201 beats per minute. The aerobic threshold. This is when your body begins the anaerobic energy as the aerobic system is topping out. VO2 max. This is the amount of oxygen your body can consume whilst operating at your maximum capacity. VO2 max is the maximum amount of oxygen in milliliters one can use in one minute per kilogram of body weight. The higher your VO2 max, the more intensely you can work out. Why does a boxer need to be aerobically fit? A boxer needs to be aerobically fit as it enables him to keep moving around the ring to evade his opponent's attacks. It enables him to improve his oxygen delivery efficiency to muscles and remove carbon dioxide faster which improves his recovery time. The more oxygen available to the brain improves the boxer's ability to take strikes and think about his game. Concentration and coordination decrease severely through lack of oxygen and knockouts occur more easily because the brain cannot recover from blows as effectively. Training your aerobic system. Any activity where the body has to work at a continuous steady pace for a long period of time will improve aerobic fitness. Such activities should be whole body activities, for example running, swimming, cycling or skipping. For effective improvement, aerobic training should be done three times a week and each session should last for between 20 and 30 minutes. A boxer will need to train his high-end cardiovascular to the point of it being just below anaerobic fitness. Aerobic training examples for boxing. 800 meter run. The 800 meters will be run as fast as possible and repeated at least three times. This is to build up the aerobic endurance to simulate the length of a round. Alternatively, three minute rounds can be run on a treadmill as fast as possible with a minute slow jogging for recovery. Skipping. This is to build up stamina in the calves and to build up lightness on the feet. Skipping should be performed over two or three minute rounds and done as fast as possible. Anaerobic fitness. Anaerobic energy. Anaerobic means without oxygen. During anaerobic work, the body is working at maximum effort and is unable to meet the demand for a supply of oxygen. The body then begins to use stored reserves of fuel. The body breaks stored glucose down into ATP without the use of oxygen. The waste product of this form of energy is known as lactic acid. This system is also known as the lactic acid system. Anaerobic energy and muscles. Anaerobic energy makes use of fast twitch fibers known as type 2 fibers. These can be further subcategorized into type 2A and type 2B fibers. Type 2A fast twitch fibers. 
These fast twitch muscle fibers are also known as intermediate fast twitch fibers. They can use both aerobic and, aer and anaerobic metabolism almost equally to create energy. In this way, they are a combination of type 1 and type 2 muscle fibers. Having more fast twitch muscle fibers can be an asset to a sprinter since they need to generate a lot of force. Type 2B muscle fibers. These fast twitch fibers use anaerobic metabolism to create energy and are the classic fast twitch muscle fibers that excel at producing quick, powerful bursts of speed. This muscle fiber has the highest rate of contraction of all the muscle fiber types, but it also has a much faster rate of fatigue and can't last as long before it needs rest. The anaerobic heart rate zone. In order to track your anaerobic energy system, you need to work your heart in the anaerobic heart rate zone. This is 80 to 90% of your maximum heart rate. The anaerobic threshold. This is when lactic acid starts to accumulate in the muscles faster than it can be removed. This causes the muscles to seize up. Why does a boxer need to be anaerobically fit? The majority of boxing uses anaerobic energy. Being anaerobically fit enables the boxer to keep punching without getting worn out and to keep his speed and power. Boxing is in the ratio of 3 to 1 in terms of anaerobic energy use compared to aerobic energy. Therefore, anaerobic energy is the most important type of fitness to improve. Training your anaerobic system. You need to train the anaerobic system to do three things. The ability to recharge creatine phosphate, the ability to dispose of lactic acid, the ability to tolerate high levels of lactic acid. Training should be boxing specific, so therefore boxing appropriate training will be done. Sprints. These should, should involve short and long sprints. Short sprints. This is so the heart and muscles get used to fast paced action, then slow action as occurs in a boxing match. It also improves recovery time. A method is to warm up for 10 minutes, then sprint for 35 meters, then jog for 35 meters repeatedly for 10 minutes. Long sprints. This is so the body can sustain fast paced action for longer and also become faster at the same time. It will also improve the recovery rate. A method is to warm up, then sprint 100 meters, jog back and repeat over two minutes, and repeat three times after a minute's rest. Bag blasts. Tabulata routine. Punch in the bag continuously for 20 seconds with a 10 second break, repeated over two to three minutes. Punch combos. Six, eight, and 10 hit combos with footwork in between. Pad work. Combination punching. ATP PCR energy. This energy system uses creatine phosphate, also known as phosphocreatine, which is broken down releasing phosphate and energy, which is then used to rebuild ATP from ADP. The ATP PCR energy system can operate with or without oxygen, but because it doesn't need oxygen, it is said to be an anaerobic energy system. Once the existing supply of ATP runs out after two seconds, the body uses phosphocreatine to create ATP until that runs out. This system is the only system used during the first five seconds of exercise, Regardless of the intensity, it only lasts for a maximum of 15 seconds. ATP threshold, muscles use and heart rate. This system makes use of fast twitch muscle fibers. The heart rate zone for this is 95% plus. This is when the stores of PCR run out causing muscular failure. Why does a boxer need good ATP system? Having a good ATP system allows the boxer to recover quickly from intense bursts of activity. Training your ATP system. To develop this energy system, sessions involving repeats of up to 10 to 15 seconds of maximum intensity activity are required with approximately two minutes rest between repeats to allow the system to replenish. There is a scientific formula for rest periods called the work to rest ratio. For the ATP PC system, the rest ratio is one to 10 slash 12. This means that for every second of work, you need to allow 10 to 12 seconds for recovery. Examples of training techniques. Lifting the heaviest weight you possibly can for one to two repetitions, rest for 30 to 60 seconds and repeat 10 times. Sprinting as fast as you can for 50 meters with one minute recovery intervals before repeating. Repeat 10 times. End of video. That brings us to the end of the section on stamina. I hope you've enjoyed watching and have learned something from it. The next video is about the factors affecting strength and how to develop it. See you next time.